Today we're going to be starting to look at circular motion for the first time and the very first thing we need to study before we look at the actual physics is the radian. Now uh, the radian is actually the SI unit for the measurements of the size of angles. Now let's imagine a circle, in fact even better, let's draw a circle. So um, let's try a little bit better. There we go. So we have a circle over here. As we know a circle is 360 degrees. Now we can express the uh, this this full rotation, this angle of 360 degrees in a different way as well. Let's uh, remember the definition of an angle. Now in order to look at the definition of an angle, let's just first of all just choose a specific angle. I don't know, we could choose for example 40 degrees. Now a 40 degree angle from let's say from the horizontal, so from 0 degrees just along here. So in fact let's even be more general, let's call that angle theta. If the radius of the circle is r and the arc length from here to here, let's call that s. Now the arc length is actually numerically a measure of the angle itself. If this arc length is quite big, for example if this arc length was from here to here, then the angle would have to be quite big as well. The equation which uh, links those two quantities or those three quantities together is that the arc length is equal to r theta. Now if we were to just rearrange for the angle, the angle theta will be equal to s divided by r. And for a full circle the arc length is actually 2 pi r. So this is the circumference of the circle divided by r. So we can see that for, I'm just going to make a little note over here that this is for one rotation. Theta will be equal to 2 pi r divided by, divided by r, which is equal to 2 pi. So we can see that 360 degrees, which is our typical convention in degrees, that equals 2 pi radians. Additionally, we can um, just also divide both sides by 2 and we can see that 180 degrees are going to equal pi radians. Now this leads us to the following conversion factor. If we are going from degrees to radians, we need to multiply by pi and divide by 180 degrees. If we are going from radians to degrees, we need to multiply by 180 degrees and we need, we need to divide by pi. Let's have a look at a few examples. Okay, now let's have a look at the following examples. We have some angles here in degrees written on the right hand side. Let's try and convert them to radians. So just by following our conversion rate across here on the left, if we want to convert 45 degrees, all we need to do is multiply that by pi and we need to divide that by 180. So this is going to equal 1 over 4, so it's going to equal pi over 4 radians. Quite often you will come across as pi over 4 being left uh, just like that. However, you can also calculate it um, equally correct um, as a decimal as well. So we can just input pi over 4 into our calculator and this is going to equal up to two significant figures 0.79 radians. And we have 70 degrees so um, we are going to have 70 multiplied by pi 
divide that by 180 degrees and uh, this is going to leave us with 7 over 18 pi radians which um, if we convert that to a decimal this is going to be 1.22 radians finally let's do the the final one which is converting 30 degrees let's make sure everything is in line so 30 degrees will be 30 times pi divided by 180 and which is going to uh, let's calculate that directly as a decimal so just inputting that into our scientific calculator so 30 times pi divided by um, 180 that's going to give us pi over 6 or 0.52 radians now if we are going the other way so if we have radians to begin with and we want to convert those to degrees what we need to do is follow the following conversion factor which is to multiply a radian by 180 degrees then divide by pi so I'm just going to write pi over 3 over here and I'm going to multiply this by 180 and then I'm going to divide this by pi. The pi's can be cancelled and uh, what we're going to get is 60 degrees. Next one over here is just 3 pi so once again exactly the same procedure so 3 pi times 180 divided by pi like so once again the pies are going to cancel which is a shame because I do like pi and uh, this is going to equal 540 degrees finally the final one which is pi over 4 quarter of pi and uh, this is going to be so pi over 4 times 180 divided by pi just like that and this is going to give us 45 degrees okay folks so hopefully radians now make sense uh, just one final tip if you are if the equation requires you to use radians and we're going to see which ones we uh, really need to make sure that our calculator is in, in is, is in radians mode um, please make sure that you know efficiently how to change the setting on your calculator from degrees to radians okay folks so hopefully you've enjoyed this video if there are any questions please feel free to drop a comment down below